Hailing from a mixed parentage of Western and Eastern Highlands provinces, Gloria Kaupa was not one to be swayed by the demands grade 12 studies presented. To Kaupa, rugby league training was just as important. The Orchids forward who recently sat for her grade 12 national examination at Goroka Secondary School said her interest in rugby league came at an early age. I was doing my grade 8. I was inspired by my cousin who was always, um, when, I was fi when I always finished school, he was always going to training and when I started following him to training, I was inspired by the intensity of the training and I, that's why I was interested and I joined it. The love for the sport blossomed at the age of 14 when Kaupa took up a rugby ball and never put it back down. And the decision to continue playing rugby league is one she now does not regret. It took a lot of training and eventually the Highland Zone Rugby League tournament mid this year that brought her to lay to put the 19-year-old on the Orchid selection radar. By September, Kaupa was an Orchid. Yeah, we were um, after the first trial, when we went back, they sent the programs and we were uh, when I went to school, uh, every afternoon I did my training and um, it was really demanding but you know I loved the game and I did whatever it takes to um, for my studies and as well as my fitness for yeah training. I know that I had a res I have a really big responsibility and I still have to do it and I still do it. Kappa had this to say to young girls around Papua New Guinea. Um, sports is not always for men. Um, it's a gender equity thing and if you really want to play and you can play. It's not that hard. You just have to prioritize. Speaking of a people back home, or what Goroka people like to refer to as houseline, Kaupa says everyone is just as excited as she is. Yeah, they're proud. They, they told me to call them of the, the dates, but I didn't call them yet. But I hope they're waiting, and I will tonight. Next Thursday, the 19-year-old forward will face England along with her teammates in the first ever World Cup match in a triple header in Sydney. I'm really proud and it's a, 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 it's a dream come true. Dina Rose Rico, National MTV Sports. Responsibility and I'll do whatever it takes, go through whatever training and I'll give my best. to make